China's DeepSeek R1 is all over the news and everyone is talking about how it just completely blew GPT-01 away. Well, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up DeepSeek R1 or any other LLM locally on your machine so you can use the model completely offline. Now, for this video, I'm going to be using my M1 16GB MacBook Pro, but the steps are mostly the same if you have a different setup. The best part? You don't need to be a programmer to follow along. Trust me, it's going to be super easy and quick. Alright, first we're going to go to olama.com, which is a platform for running and managing AI models locally. So first we're going to download olama, and then we'll use simple commands to load and run DeepSeek R1 directly on the machine. I'm going to choose Mac OS and click on download for Mac OS. Cool. Now we're going to need to give some privileges to Olama. Go ahead and enter your password if you need to. Then we can just finish the setup process. Okay, we just installed the Olama CLI or command line interface, which means we can start to run the Olama specific commands on our computer. Okay, next we're going to open the terminal. So I'm going to do command space and type in terminal. And now if you type Olama and hit return, we're going to see a list of options. And to set up a new model, we're interested in its package name primarily. So let's go back to the website, olama.com, and search for DeepSeek R1. And as you can see in blue, we have a bunch of options. 1.5, 7, 8, 14, 32, 70, and 671, the largest model. And this refers to the number of parameters that this model was trained on. The smaller the model, the faster it's going to run on your machine. But obviously, since it's trained on fewer parameters, it's not going to be as capable as the bigger versions. Okay, so let's click on the drop down here and choose 1.5b and we're going to copy this command. So it's olama run deepseek r1 1.5b. As you can see, it's olama run, the model name, and then the number of parameters or the version number. So if you're doing the 7 billion parameters version, you'll just use olama run deepseek r1 7b. All right, now let's go back to the terminal and paste it in olama run deepseek r1 1.5b. Then Olama is going to download the model and set it up for us. Now, while we wait for the download, and if you're enjoying this video, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. By the way, on this MacBook Pro with 16 gigs of RAM and the M1 chip, I was able to get decent performance from the 14 billion parameters model. So if you have the same or better specs, definitely download a larger model for better results. Alrighty then, we're good to go. We're in the chat. Let's give it a shot and say, hey there, what's up? Cool, that was super easy, right? Let me know in the comments if you've run into any issues. So if you type slash question mark, you're going to see the following options. Set, show, load, save, clear, buy, help, and shortcuts. Now the set option lets you set session variables, things like if you want the model to respond only in JSON format, or whether you want to enable or disable history. Even setting more advanced variables like model temperature is accessible through this menu. Now, if you're here just to chat with the model, you don't need to worry about these things. But if you're looking for these options, that's where you're going to find them. All right, let's try and run the show command. So I'm going to do slash show info, and this is going to output the model parameters and license info. Give it a try to see for yourself. Okay, next we can save and reload the session. So think about this like if you want to leave the chat but not lose the content, you could do slash save and enter a name here for the session. So for example, I'm going to do slash save test. Then we can just leave the chat by typing slash buy. Uh, and then we can just load the previous session by doing, well, first we can do olama ls to see all the available models, including the one we just saved as test. So to load it and go back to the conversation, Let's do olama run test latest and they'll take us back directly to where we were. Okay, the last thing that I want to highlight is if you want to enter a multi-line message, make sure you start it off by typing three double quotes like this, and then you can use as many line breaks as you want. And when you're done, just enter another three double quotes at the end and hit return. And that's everything you need to know to run any model using Olama, including DeepSeek R1 on your machine. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.